This is the install for the new Rough Country heavy duty frame sliders. And unlike other side steps or sliders, these actually bolt to the frame of the Jeep, giving you the best protection. The underside of these frame sliders are nice and smooth, allowing you to slide over obstacles, as well as the steps make it easy for my kids to get in and out. And compared to what I had before of the ones that actually bolted up to where the Rubicon rails went, these are not going to bend in like the issue I had with the ones that bolt in like the Rubicon rails. For those of you who are new to off-roading, rock sliders are extremely important and one of your first modifications because when you start going over more technical obstacles, there's risk of you damaging the bottom of your door stills or the bottom body panels of your Toyota or Jeep in this case. And having this protection on there allows you to slide along it instead of on your vehicle. So when you're putting the brackets on, this goes on the rear, and this one goes on the front. They only go one way. They are directional. The way you figure it out is you have a hole in the front before the bracket. That's how you know, because there's no hole in the front over here. And as you can see, this actually bolts up to the frame. So this is gonna bolt up right on this frame. This bolts up right here, which it might block my light. And that bolts up uh, right here. So, luckily I got no wires running in there. I'm gonna have to see how that works out. Then assemble the driver's side frame rail, like the passenger as shown. You'll torque all the brackets to the actual frame sliders first, and then I kind of pre-fit them to the frame uh, just tightened it all by hand and then I torqued everything down and the last step. The front brackets bolt through the frame so you have to drop down a plate in there with the nuts welded onto it in order to bolt the actual bracket into the frame. It's really simple, just check the instructions. There's two plates per side, so four plates total. The ones that go in the actual rail just fall in and through the hole and then the ones that bolt through the side of the frame rail you hold with the little uh, frame rail with the uh, metal stick that's attached to it. You can cut that stick off later. I'm very impressed with this and I can't wait to put it through the paces. So really quick, the tools you need is a torque wrench. So it's 23 foot pounds on the smaller bolts that you put the brackets the slider on. The two center nuts are gonna be 36 foot pounds and then that big rear bolt is gonna be 92 foot pounds. Um, and those are the only two sizes. You will need an 18 wrench, an 18 socket, and a uh, 13 socket. The hardest bolt to get out is this back frame bolt. Um, that took a big impact to get out, so just heads up with that. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward to install. Probably an hour at most in your garage. You can catch these on sale for about $300. Again, what I like the most about them is that they actually bolt to the frame and not the body. And for the price of about $300, it's really hard to beat the quality and the function of these frame sliders. All right, so we got updated torque specs. The rear, uh, that long bolt um, that we take out to mount through, that long bolt's 92 foot pounds, and then the two nuts in the middle there that you undo, those are 36 foot pounds. And there's the install for you. Please like and subscribe, check out my other adventure videos and maintenance videos on my Jeep Eco Diesel, everything Jeep related. I'll drop some links down in the description below. Check them out, we'll see you in the next one.